The chart on the screen shows the Euro ETF, FXE, with the Fibonacci time zones extending from the April 2008 high, which marked a major high. The 8th Fibonacci time zone, which is 21 days, marked a top in July, the 34-day line did not mark anything significant and the 55-day line marked a significant low. The March 2009 high formed just after the 89-day line and the November high was a month after the 144-day line. As with most forecasting in cycle tools, a little leeway is required. Especially when the lengths grow longer. The chart on the screen shows FXE with time added to see the next Fibonacci time zone at 233. Even though the Euro ETF bounced in June to July. Another leg lower is still possible with the Fibonacci time zones forecasting a low in September 2010. 50 days were added to this chart to see the next Fibonacci time zone. After 233. The next line would be at day 377, which means the chart would need around 330 extra days for viewing. Fibonacci time zones are called zones for a reason. They are not hard reversal points but rather potential reversal points to watch as prices approach this zone. Fibonacci time zones provide a cross between cycle analysis and Fibonacci analysis. Both have a wide following and turning points can be forecast weeks and months in advance. However, these forecast points serve as alerts for potential trend reversals. As these reversal points approach, chartists should turn to other aspects of technical analysis to actually confirm the reversal. This could be a bullish or bearish pattern. Bullish or bearish candlesticks, bullish or bearish indicators or clues from the price chart itself.